There are a lot of policy issues I care about, but it all comes down to one thing and one thing only. Will our children inherit a more prosperous and civilized Oklahoma or one that's less? That one single issue drives me more than any other, creating opportunity and prosperity, not just for this generation, but for generations to come. I will not bend in my determination for principle, but I also believe that this house should be governed not by division, because just like Dr. Martin Luther King said, we must live together as brothers or perish together as fools. We must be able to show how our policies lead to a more prosperous city, a more prosperous state, and a more prosperous nation. Moving forward, we need to continue focusing on pro-business reforms that will boost our economy, create jobs, and foster strong families. The first item on that list is fundamental workers' compensation reform. We must have a system that heals injured workers so they can get back on the job without punishing the businesses that provide those very same jobs. We must have tax reform. We have one of the lowest overall tax burdens in the nation, but why settle for that? It's time for a responsible tax reform package that helps families keep more of their hard-earned money and also helps businesses create more jobs. We must modernize our educational system to ensure we are providing a 21st century education that prepares our young people to not only compete in the global marketplace, but to win. Today, we live in a country with an out of control federal government that is bankrupt both financially and morally. As a result, we have fewer freedoms, we pay more in taxes than we should, and there is little hope of these things changing under our president and this current Congress. So let me say this, the state of Oklahoma will not go down the path of Washington, D.C. Not on my watch. <laughs>